Well, my name is John Harrington, and I'm the Chief Scientific Officer here at Atherstis. I'm also a co-founder of the company, and I serve on our board of directors. A few words about my background. I began my scientific career at Amgen in the Manufacturing Process Development Group, working on Nupagen prior to its approval. From there, I went on to work for several additional biotechnology companies before doing academic research at the Scripps Clinic and Research Foundation. I received my doctoral degree from Stanford University in cancer biology. As CSO, I oversee all of our research and development activities here at the company. However, over the past several years, I've had a particular focus on manufacturing process development and scale up. The time I spent at Amgen early in my career gave me some initial experience, but more importantly, a deep appreciation for the importance of process development and scaling manufacturing. In order to translate a scientific innovation into a new medicine that can help many patients, you have to be able to manufacture it in a scaled and consistent manner. And essentially, that's what process development is all about, developing those techniques and procedures that provide the basis for commercial scale manufacturing. In order for Atherosis to be successful, we have several important tasks in front of us. We need to demonstrate the safety and efficacy of multi-stem and pivotal clinical studies, we need to develop the commercial infrastructure necessary to distribute uh, the product to patients. And we need to be able to manufacture the product at very large scale cost effectively. Our clinical trials are now up and running. The commercial infrastructure is being built. And so I'd like to take this opportunity to discuss with you the work that we're doing to develop commercial scale manufacturing processes. Before I dive into our large scale development activities, I'd like to first begin with some background on the biology of multi stem cells. Some of the characteristics of multi stem cells include their mechanism of action, demonstrate efficacy in animal models, and the results of clinical trials run to date. As it relates to the manufacturability of the cells, however, it is their growth properties uh, that enable our manufacturing approach. Specifically, Upon isolation from donors, these cells grow rapidly and can be expanded to well over 50 populations from bone marrow. This represents an expansion potential of two to the 50th power or more. Uh, and this in turn allows us to utilize a traditional manufacturing uh, approach, which takes advantage of a master cell bank, working cell bank manufacturing paradigm, similar to what's used for uh, other biologics such as monoclonal antibodies, and allows us to produce millions of doses from a single donor. Our manufacturing process essentially begins by identifying a healthy consenting donor. Uh, that donor uh, is then uh, evaluated, a full health history is run. Uh, we carry out uh, a full panel of safety testing, including testing for such things as adventitious agents, uh, known viral pathogens, et cetera. Once the uh, donor is qualified, we then go on to obtain bone marrow from that individual using good tissue practices. That bone marrow is processed and the cells are expanded uh, over the course of numerous days and numerous population doublings to ultimately produce a master cell bank. That master cell bank is then thoroughly tested, again, for such things as viral pathogens and other adventitious agents. Uh, we confirm that the cells have a normal carry type, that is a normal number and structure of chromosomes. We subject the cells to full lot release testing to confirm that they express the appropriate identity markers for multi-stem and we carry out potency testing. Once qualified, we then uh, expand uh, a vial from the master cell bank further over many population doublings to produce a, a working cell bank. And then from that working cell bank, we initiate manufacturing campaigns uh, to produce uh, the final expanded product. That product is harvested, isolated, purified, concentrated, formulated, configured into vials, and taken into a control rate freezing process. And then finally, stored frozen for distribution to the clinical sites. Importantly, we invested 
significantly in the overall product configuration to allow ease of use of the clinical sites. Specifically, the product is formulated in a cryopreservative that can be infused directly into the patient, allowing the product to be thawed and directly administered to the patient without uh, additional cell processing steps. And the vial configuration allows storage at, for example, a hospital pharmacy where it's thawed and delivered to the hospital floor where it can be administered by a nurse or a physician. Historically, we've manufactured multi-stem product using a two-dimensional cell factory-based manufacturing process. The 2D manufacturing process has enabled rapid entry into clinical development and progression through clinical proof of concept. The manufacturing process has also facilitated interactions with regulatory agencies around the world, and in particular with the FDA, EMA in Europe, and PMDA in Japan, and has allowed us to define the product with regulators, particularly as it relates to uh, lot release specifications, uh, acceptable raw materials for use in the manufacturing process, and the validated potency assay, the validation of the potency assay that we use also in lot release. We have substantial experience manufacturing the product. We've produced several GMP master cell banks. We've produced numerous working cell banks. And we've carried out several hundred GMP manufacturing runs that have been used in clinical trials run to date. Importantly, this 2D manufacturing process is the foundation for establishing comparability uh, of the product with the large scale or commercial scale manufacturing processes that we are now developing. And this will facilitate the migration from our first generation manufacturing platform to the final commercial scale manufacturing platform. So to this end, our process development activities are aimed at two main objectives. First, we are focused on scaling up production to meet our demand forecasts. This involves increasing batch size, increasing the number of batches that we produce each year, and increasing the production output from our manufacturing facilities. And second, we're focused on reducing cost of goods. And this is being accomplished by increasing uh, product yield per batch, by reducing our labor, by reducing our facilities costs, and by reducing the cost of raw materials that we use in our manufacturing process. To achieve these overall objectives, we're migrating from a cell factory based process to large scale bioreactors that can be scaled up to, to a multi thousand liter scale process. Since multi stem cells require attachment to a solid surface or substrate in order to divide and expand, we first developed and optimized a process utilizing microcarriers to serve as the solid substrate. As shown here in this 200 liter stirred tank bioreactor, microcarriers are small white solid spheres with the unique surface chemistry that allow multi stem cells to attach and divide. The microcarriers are less than a millimeter in size, and this small size allows them to remain suspended in the bioreactor with gentle agitation and low shear force. As the cells divide, they increase in number and occupy a greater proportion of the microcarrier surface area. Under the microscope and stained with specialized cell dyes, you can see multi stem cells here attached to microcarriers. At the end of this process, multi stem cells are separated from the microcarriers, concentrated, washed, and then formulated. The product is then vialed and taken through a controlled rate freezing process and stored frozen. As I mentioned earlier, the product can be thawed and administered easily at the clinical site by a nurse or physician without any post-thaw cell processing. Shown here is some footage from our process development labs here at Aphrosis. As I indicated, we are developing multi-stem manufacturing processes at the multi-thousand liter bioreactor scale. In order to achieve that objective, we have carried out thousands of individual experiments in small scale vessels called spinner flasks, which serve as small scale models for bioreactors. This has allowed us to rapidly optimize media, growth conditions, and bioreactor parameters to maximize multi stem cell quality and yield. 
As processes were optimized at this small scale, we then carried out hundreds of experiments in small scale two liter and five liter bioreactors to confirm the spinner flask results and to further optimize the cell expansion conditions. Finally, we carried out multi stem production in 50 liter, 200 liter, and 500 liter bioreactors to fine tune our process and to demonstrate the robustness of cell production. We've also carried out extensive optimization of the bioreactor harvest procedures and downstream cell recovery and purification processes that allow us to carry out the large scale production of multi stem. While I am not going to discuss our downstream cell recovery processes today, suffice it to say that there are significant technological challenges to process thousands of liters of biomass in a short period of time, while at the same time preserving cell viability and cell quality overall. We have been successful in developing these processes and have incorporated them into our overall manufacturing process. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our scientists here at Athersys. Through their hard work and dedication, we have made outstanding progress toward our goal of commercializing multi-STEM. I would also like to thank our contract manufacturing partners for their role in working with us to produce product in support of our clinical trials and for their future role in producing commercial product. And I would like to thank our current and future commercial partners who will play an important role in the commercialization of multi-STEM. I am truly excited about the future and about fulfilling our mission of bringing life-saving medicines to patients. Thank you very much.